Fox News' Dave Kinchin is live for us tonight. And Dave, there was a warrant for his arrest before this alleged assault happened. Yeah, that's really one of the big, big questions tonight. I spoke off camera with the suspect's ex-girlfriend. She said that uh, she hasn't been in contact with him or with him in three years, but he still, she says, uses her address as his. She says that she's been asking him to change it, and she, like many others, just totally shocked by all the allegations and charges. Tonight, 37-year-old Kahari Wright is booked on charges of first-degree criminal sexual conduct of a minor, home invasion, and a non-fatal shooting. He's sporting some of the same bruises Detroit police say he got in this beatdown captured on cell phone video. We got a child predator out here. Investigators confirmed this is right, beaten and bloodied after allegedly raping a teenage girl on Detroit's west side. Police say 12th Precinct detectives are investigating the assault on Wright allegedly carried out by the victim's family. I hope you get everything that you deserve. From what I heard, they stomped his top lip off. And, you know, he, he had his, you know, his eye hanging out and all of that type of stuff. So basically street justice was served real swift uh, with this situation. Seven Mile Radio gave Fox to this video of the attack. His, his mouth appeared to be very bloody and it was just like he'd been in an MMA fight almost. But Fox 2 did some digging and found that Wright had an arrest warrant against him way back in mid-November. So why was he on the streets to begin with? Court records show charges of home invasion, assault with intent to murder, assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder, and weapons charges all from October 29th of last year. Sources say that mid-November arrest warrant could have kept right behind bars had he been cuffed and lodged. We asked prosecutors what the heck happened. They told us, quote, you would need to ask Detroit police why he wasn't picked up after the warrant was signed by WCPO, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. So we did ask Detroit police. A spokesperson says they are checking with the folks who handle patrols to see what went wrong and why Wright wasn't captured. Sexual assault is a real thing. Perhaps long before that horrific alleged child rape could ever take place. I would just ask that parents, teachers, advisors, administrators, Friends, family, just always keep your eyes open. Listen. If you see something, say something. Um, obviously report any suspected abuse. And tonight, police administration says they still have to get in contact with other folks in the department related to patrols to get us some of the information we're looking for. So we're hoping to connect with them tomorrow and get more information on all of this. Reporting live outside Detroit Police Headquarters, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, I know you did that digging today and we saw that rap sheet with a little bit of, uh, uh, of a window of what happened beforehand. You spoke with uh, his friend, his ex, no clue at all about any of that including the home invasions. Well, she certainly had an idea about the rape charges, but uh, we did talk more about some of the things with her, and she just shook her head, total shock about all of that. And again, she said that they haven't been together in three years, but she's been asking him to change the address and not use her address. And so with all of this coming down, certainly uh, she seems to really want to be able to move on with uh, her life uh, for sure in every way possible. That was the vibe that we uh, definitely got tonight. And for the victim's family, they don't want to move on until they find out exactly why it is taking this long to figure out why he wasn't behind bars or perhaps uh, they knew about this before. So we'll be waiting for that answer as time marches on. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.